What up, YouTube? Happy Monday. It's your boy Aki, checking in here with another video. Just making a quick video real quick, just to uh, let you guys know where I'm at in my journey. So today is Monday, August 30th, and I am in the office um, getting ready to start making some of these calls today. And uh, just giving you guys just a little bit of a, um, a, little bit of a word of advice um, this week when you're talking with your sellers. So uh, when I'm talking to with my sellers, I always want to make sure that I'm not on the phone with people that are not the decision maker and people that are wishy-washy. Um, there's such a thing as uh, fatigue, uh, not necessarily being fatigued in terms of um, being tired, like you're running a race or you've been lifting weights for a long amount of time. But there's such a thing as decision making fatigue and actually uh, emotional fatigue when you're dealing with these sellers. So. Uh, be very weary of that when you're, you know, dealing with these people. Make sure that you're only talking to the cream of the crop. And that's what I make sure I do in order to uh, feel motivated, in order to continuously be able to make these calls. If I feel like the call is going nowhere and we're talking about everything but the property, um, then I make sure that, you know, I get back on track and that we're talking about something that's going to be productive uh, that's going to move me closer to the sale. Now, granted, there is such thing as building rapport, and legitimately, I do feel you know connected to a lot of these sellers because a lot of there's commonalities, such as you know football teams. You know, sometimes they're smart people, they're Steelers fans or uh, they're Lakers fans, and you know we go down the rabbit hole in that sense. Um, and I really do enjoy those conversations, but ultimately, you know, I'm on the phone to make money. And actually, uh, another thing I wanted to uh, uh, disclose: if you do have any acquisitions. Um, because I don't have any acquisitions right now, but actually I started interviewing, uh, last Thursday for acquisitions and I made it the point, you know, during even the initial job description and, uh, just interviewing phase and qualification phase where I'm talking to these people, I'm, I'm telling these people, Hey, um, when you're on the phone, we want you to be able to build rapport like nobody else's business but you know i don't want you being on the phone for an extended amount of time where you're just talking about things that are not productive and on top of that not being able to make a sale because if you're paying these people hourly um and then you know at the end of the day they're spending a few minutes here where they could have been talking to somebody that was uh, a potential lead that could have made you uh money or could have been a closed deal it's not going to be something over the month uh, and year that you're going to be happy that they spent that amount of time building rapport. But granted, there's uh, a situation where every once in a while you could get a referral because you treated somebody so nice. I know somebody in the comment section is going to be like, yo, I treated this seller really nice. And, you know, um, you turn into a, it turned into a referral lead and, you know, I made all this money on this one lead. But for me personally, um, I know I can get, that's why I'm making this video today. You know, I know I can get caught up, you know, talking about the wrong things and ultimately um, not getting a closed deal. So, all right, guys, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are out here crushing it. Um, the eviction moratorium has been lifted. May make a video on that later on to just talk about what the stipulations uh, of that mean for real estate going forward, whether it's going to be a crash, whether it's not. Um, nobody has a crystal ball. Everybody thinks that it's pretty much set in stone just because we're undersupplied that it's going to put us back in a situation where, you know, prices are going to level out. So no one's ever been in this situation before. Um, economics isn't as uh, simple as um, uh, where uh, product is in hyper supply and then you put a little bit of inventory back out where it, it turns into a situation to where, you know, prices level out. It could be a situation where um, it could just be a situation where, you know, the people that were interested, you know, in buying, you know, they're not they, they've been so discouraged to whereas, you know, they've had multiple offers rejected at market price to where, you know, they're completely out of the market. And and so that that, that creates the same situation where, you know, it is indeed in the hyper supply and, you know, those first time home buyers don't even know it. So. All right. Um, we'll talk about that later, though. Hope you guys are doing well. Talk to you guys in the next video. Peace.